Hola. Welcome to the first episode of Fantastic Stories from Horizon Mexico. I am your host, Calandria. And this guy here is Oscar. Say hello, Oscar. Por qué? Fine, we'll work on it later. This episode is about the raw tin piñata. Get to round three. In your travels around Horizon Mexico, you might have crossed paths with this guy. Avoid the cacti! And if your paths happen to have crossed a little too closely during a Horizon Arcade event, then you have already noticed that he's a bit of a sour puss. Have you ever wondered where he came from, and how he got to be where he is? Well I'm gonna tell you anyway. Let me take you back to the very beginning, to the birth of the rotten piñata commonly known as, oh no. We need to travel to the great piñata fields of Jalisco. Our story begins in one of many such plantations here along the western coast of Mexico. The spirits of ancient gods watch over these fields from the nearby ruins of Teotihuacan. And maybe, just maybe, that's where the trouble started. Piñatas are a delicate crop, sensitive to a wide variety of environmental factors. Mexican farmers use special open-side canopies like this one to shield their precious crops from harm. But such a simple canvas structure offered no protection from the dark forces at work on this day. It was the end of May. The days and nights had been hot and dry for weeks. Much hotter and much drier than anyone had ever recalled. The relentless sun baked the stones of the ancient temples and scorched the ground around them until it was parched and deeply cracked. But the weather was about to take a sudden and dramatic turn. Ominous storm clouds darkened the late afternoon sky as Piñata farmer, Iago Rodriguez finished checking over his crops. Seeing the clouds gathering in the west, Iago made his way home early, hoping to avoid the storm. This one looked bad. In fact, it looked downright evil. You might say it was as if the ancient spirits of the temples themselves were about to be unleashed. Hola. Help? Hola. Oh, I see. You decided that now would be the best time to greet our viewers. Hello. Oh. Um. You think you're so fancy, don't you? Well, let me tell you something. You won't be so fancy when you have a giant hole in your gut and your candy is flung all over the damn place, will you? The I thought so. So simmer down, I had just gotten to the important part when you butted in with your poorly timed salutations. Anyway, the storm packed a powerful punch, forks of lightning lit the sky, and when the rain started, it came down in a full deluge. No one knows exactly how it happened, but somehow or another, one of those piñatas was tainted and transformed. Perhaps it was enchanted by the spirit of the gods themselves. This dark turn of events was most unfortunate for the other piñatas in the immediate vicinity. When farmer, Iago returned the next morning, he discovered a scene of devastation. The culprit had vacated the canopy, but it hadn't gone far. Oh no scurried to the nearby home of one of Farmer Iago's neighbors. The rash of mischief and mayhem continued. Its path wasn't hard to follow. Oh no left a trail of destruction along the way. But things really began to escalate when it cut through the brake lines of Lucero's trunk. Fortunately no one was hurt. This would be the first of several traffic disruptions that day. We think that Ono took advantage of the ensuing traffic jam to hop a ride on a passing car carrier, because the next event that we know of occurred on the highway not too far from there. Ono unfastened the wheel lock chains, and subsequently released the carrier's load of golf carts right onto the busy highway. A few cars behind the carrier failed to stop in time to avoid collision.
The ensuing chaos caused a multiple car collision, halting traffic and causing a major traffic jam. And that's about where I come in. Shalom. Right, and Oscar too. Look, there I am in the back seat. Hey Susanna, you look tired. Oh, yeah, that storm kept me up much of the night. Oh yeah, it was intense all right. I tried to warn you about the weather this time of year. I brought my raincoat and boots, but you didn't tell me it would be so noisy. I would have brought earplugs too. Sorry, do you want me to drive? No, I'll be fine in a minute, as soon as the coffee kicks in. We can skip the scenic route and take the highway instead. Sounds good. Maybe I can sneak a nap in later. Oh no, what the heck is this all about? Hum, so much for getting back faster. Can you see anything on your side? Wonder how backed up this is. Don't know. I can't see around those big trucks. Well, there are already a bunch of cars behind us. I can't back up. We're stuck. Maybe you can take that nap sooner than you thought. Bus is wearing off. What sort of idiot transports golf carts and doesn't fasten them down? Hey, quiet a minute. Do you hear that? Hear what? I don't hear anything funny. What does it sound like? It was like a sort of knocking sound. No, I didn't hear anything like that. No, it stopped now, but I'm sure I heard it. Geez, Susanna, I really think you should let me drive. Stop, it's not me. Something is definitely wrong with the car. It keeps pulling to one side. I'll pull over and see what the problem is. Well, I don't know what's up. The tires look good. Could be a bad wheel bearing, I suppose. Oh. Hey Susanna, come here. This might be the problem. There's something lodged here under the back wheel. I'll see if I can pull it out. Yee ouch, I think it bit me. Well. Hold on, did you run over a cactus? Cactus? No, I think I would have remembered that. Let me see. Um, Luisa, here in Mexico, do the cacti move around by themselves? None that I know of. This is really weird. Hey you, come out of there buddy, I'm not gonna hurt you. Watch out, it might be rabid. Come on, you think we can get rabies from a cactus? Yikes, look what just happened to the car. I think the cactus thingy just did that. Huh, that's, that's amazing. Susanna, you've got that look in your eye again. What are you up to? It's just an idea. Oh no, I've heard that before. Hey, that has a pretty good ring to it. I think I will name our new friend Oh No. Come on out here, I've got a sweet deal for you. I could use someone with your special talents for a Horizon Arcade game I'm working on. You can wreak whatever havoc you want, we'll even pay you for it. What do you say? Ooh, so that's where that comes from. Dios mío, ¿quién dijo que? No, I don't know who said that. No se supone que haya gente Oscar, aquí. Oscar, simmer down now. Es un atropello. No me dijo que teníamos una audiencia. Y niños oh y niñas de todas las cosas. Well, you've done it now, kid. Aquí, you managed to get the stinking mule on a rack, didn't you? Young? Nice going. So we're going to cut this short and say goodbye. See you again next time. Maybe. Un traje total. Nunca más volveré a confiar en ti. ¿Qué te rebajarías tan bajo? Es simplemente increíble. ¿Cómo podrías ser tan estúpida y decir?